Bravo.
founding member and former World Trade Organization appellate body chairman and author of The Willing World, Congressman James Bacchus joins us. Uh, sir, great to have you. A tale of two terror fights here. I want to start with China. What happened to the roadmap that was laid out last week that indicated we'd see some movement here? Well, I don't think it's too surprising that we haven't seen any real movement. On the one hand, it's uh, not clear at all what China is willing to do to accommodate the United States. At the same time, it's not at all clear to China or to anyone else what it is that the Trump administration really wants. Uh, do they want to eliminate the bilateral trade deficit we have with China? Uh, do uh, they want guarantees of particular purchases of particular goods and services? Or do they want structural reform uh, of the Chinese economy? Or do they want all of the above? And if so, what are they willing to do themselves uh, to get all of that? Meantime, of course, the two countries are increasingly immersed in tit-for-tat mm -hmm. uh, trade litigation in the WTO, which only complicates matters. Everybody says that, uh, that, that China has much more to lose, that we buy way more of their products. Do you agree with that? I don't think uh, that's the way to look at it. Uh, uh, no one wins a trade war on uh, any side. Well, and sir, could, I, could the US I interrupt you there? Will, yeah, sure. What if we get the Chinese to give in and stop stealing our you know, intellectual property, which they constantly do, or forcing our companies that want to do business there to give up their IP? Wouldn't that be a win? Oh, that would be a win, uh, but it would be a win for both the United States and China. Uh, China can only benefit by protecting intellectual property, ours and theirs. They can't grow economically unless uh, the Chinese people feel that if they invent something, uh, their rights in it will be protected. And that's not going to happen unless foreign intellectual property rights are protected. Uh, I brought in one, two cases against China on intellectual property rights, copyright protection, a decade ago. China complied with those rulings. Uh, we, should, we should be preparing a, a broad uh, case against China and the WTO for pervasive intellectual property violations. Yeah. Instead, the Trump administration has taken an entirely different tack by imposing unilateral tariffs, which are now getting out of hand. Well, let's get to Mexico, because it looks like uh, they're, they're getting back slightly into control, at least. Uh, the Mexican economy minister seems very positive every time. He's very happy to talk with the Fox business cameras who are staked out right there at the trade representative's office. How close are we? What's your sense here? Could we see a deal next week? I think we could see a deal between uh, Mexico and the United States next week. Uh, but then uh, we would... Uh, uh, need to see Canada rejoin the negotiations right. and get to some of the knottier issues that are not yet resolved, uh, principally whether the United States will get the uh, uh, five-year sunset it's seeking in the new NAFTA, uh, and whether the United States will be able to abolish the investment arbitration that, uh, to the surprise of the U.S. business uh, community, uh, it opposes. Uh, that's going to be hard to do on both counts. In the end, uh, going back to China here, it, it almost seems as if China has cheated in the past and then they repeat. And it, it really doesn't help their situation at all. But I, I just wonder where you see the biggest give, the biggest opportunity to make some headway here. Oh, I think the biggest opportunity uh, for the United States is in uh, pursuing a series of uh, uh, initiatives it's already taken in the WTO, in dispute settlement and otherwise. Uh, one would be in agriculture, where the United States okay. has uh, a very strong case against China on agricultural subsidies. Uh, another would be to uh, challenge a lot of the domestic content requirements that China has in place as part of its uh, Made in China 2025 initiative. As I said earlier, I think there is a strong case to be brought against China uh, for its intellectual property uh, violations, which are pervasive. Uh, I think uh, there is much that can be accomplished, but within the WTO rules, to which we have long since agreed, and China agreed as well, not outside the rules and not as a pariah in the world trading system. Exactly. Congressman, before we go, I know you spent at least some years working in Congress with John McCain, the senator who has now agreed to discontinue his treatment for brain cancer. Do you have any words for him and his family? 
I did have the privilege of working with uh, Senator McCain when I was in the House on a number of issues. Uh, I, I think he is a great American. He is uh, a great global citizen. Uh, he uh, stands what America, for what America is supposed to stand for. I had the uh, opportunity to visit in Hanoi where he was uh, imprisoned for many years. And anyone who sees what he went through and where he went through it understands what a great American hero he is. Indeed, a great American hero. James Bacchus, and thanks to you. We appreciate you coming on. Thank you. Anytime.